Hi guys, welcome to another video. It's Magic TKU Performance. Uh, as you know, well, for those of you who don't know, it's my Black 2M2 competition in the background. This video is all about car security. As many of people who follow me and who don't follow me, uh, I'll let you know that this time last year, my Hockenheim Silver M2 competition got stolen. I was really upset about it, but we always take, I believe we'll take from bad to good. We always, that's my concept. That's what I always do. It's super cold right now. Right, I was hoping it was going to be nice and warm, but it's not. So we're going to go and sit in the car and I'm going to show you today that the security systems that I have on my M2 competition and what we sell here at DKE Performance Guys. So let's check it out. They discovered their car had been stolen from their driveway in Essex. But further surprise came a month later when it was found loaded onto a shipping container in Tilbury Docks, bound for the Central African state of Congo. It's all right, okay guys, so in my car right now, and first of all, I'm gonna demonstrate the ghost to uh, immobilization that I have installed in my car, but that doesn't stop right there, because I have two immobilizers installed in my car. So we'll talk about the first one. So now, the first one, as you know, it's popular, and for those who don't understand it, and who haven't seen Instagram videos and da 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 da, da uh, for all the people that sort of kind of demonstrate them, it's pretty simple actually. It has his uh, advantages and disadvantages. Let's talk about the advantages. In my case, I've cranked up my car, so we've designed it on my car. So if somebody's trying to steal the car, they could get in the car and say, Happy days! Crank the car on. I could hear him upstairs, get my uh, big um, uh, come downstairs and give him a good hiding. Um, but in the meantime, whilst they start up the car, which I think is a good way, especially in a sports car, because you can hear it start, you then, they need the combination in order for them to steal the car. Now, there's up to 10 different kinds of variations in combination. But, <laughs> trust me, four's more than enough, and I'll come to that in a minute. Now, in, in different, different cars, different manufacturers use different methods. So you could use a steering wheel, you could use a side uh, windows going up and down, you have all this cockpit area over here and you have the cockpit area over here. So there's a variation of combinations, up to 10 that you could add depending on the manufacturer uh, that Ghost allows you to have. But trust me, don't go there, right? So you then put in the combination and off you go. Now, quick demonstration. Now, if like I said to you, my car started right now, as you can see, okay? So I haven't added the Ghost into it. So as soon as I go, there you are, guys. The car's completely switched off. So now, the car needs a combination in order for it to start. So whoever's trying to steal the car is now in trouble thinking, shit, cars were started, it was a happy days, but now there's no combination. So the first thing they'll probably do is just run down the road because I'll be coming down the stairs or somebody hench you or coming down the stairs, you know what I mean? And uh, to kick somebody's ass. Moving on. So they need a combination. So I don't want to show this combination. So if you could look that way, even you cameraman, don't even trust you right now. Right, okay. Right, here we go. Okay, voila, there you are, car started. Simple as that. So, for those of you who have got sports cars without exhaust systems, make sure, if they can, if the, man, if the installer allows you to, we do, we always recommend that the car starts itself, so you can hear it, and then today, as soon as they add, put it into gear or try to drive off the car, the car mobilizes itself and requires a code. That's the best option for you. It's not complicated, but honestly, it's the best option. We'll talk about the disadvantages. Now, if you run, or you are the sort of person that, number one, fast pace, kind of always constantly gym, going, taking children uh, to school, you know, all of that kind of lifestyle, or if you for are very forgetful, the ghost too can be a problem. So this is so important that I'll tell you this, it's because it's happened to me, right? So I jump from one car to another, or a third or the fourth or my wife's, or this one, or the vans, right? I'm always forgetting them, right? So I know the individual person may have one or maybe two in one household, but you have to be careful. If you're anxious, that's another thing. If you're anxious person and you're, you know, you're at, you've gone out for the night or the evening, or you're even going out to, to, for shopping, be careful the ghost too can be a bit testing because the best of us are like always kind of, hold on, why does that work? Why does that, oh, that's not working, oh my God. And then you're constantly, constantly getting confused. Confusion can cause anxiety. So please guys, be careful before you choose this platform. Right then guys, okay, I'm back outside the car. Sorry, we've turned the car around because it's so busy here. And we've got next door neighbors saying, bang, 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 can you hear it? Anyway, smart track, I'm up. 
is my favourite. Honestly, it's one of the best on the market, I think personally, and, and I'll tell you why. So, like I said to you in the video, that if you feel a bit anxious and you're a bit of fast tracked and everything else alongside of it, the ghost can be a bit of a right do you head in. So, right here, I've got a card, like a credit card. You can see some charging points on there, we'll talk about that in a minute. So basically this card demobilizes my car. So all it does is switch it on. So this is a Smart Track iMod Plus. Switch it on. There you are. You go into the car and you start the car. And that's literally it. But I'll demonstrate in a minute. He's off. So what we'll do to start off with, without this card, that car can't start. So basically I will leave this over here. Okay? The i the S5 iMod Plus card is in my wallet. This car cannot start now at all. So with the ghost, if you remember, it starts. So dual immobilized by the way. So my car should start right now. But it won't. So here we go. Do you want to check it out? There you are guys. The ignition's on. Don't make no difference. Now whilst you're there, let's check out something else. Because it's dual immobilized, stay over here. This car, even if I add my ghost immobilization code into it, it should still not start. So here we go. It's flashed twice, the ghost of indication on the uh, uh, and the little um, display. It's cool. And you managed to <laughs> Right, anyway, so let's go again. So as you guys know, in, in the start of the video, my car starts even though the ghost is on until you put the combination in. Let's go again. No. So even though I've put in the ghost combination in my car, this car still wants art. You thieves must be Now, voila, car's with me. So all I do, switch it on. So that's, see, once and three blips, it tells you on the car in here, three blips is when you switch it off. So make sure you switch it off. Get in the car. Just confirm, let the car identify that the card's in the car. There you are, guys. That's what you call dual immobilization. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the S5 iMod Plus, it, it comes with the tracking system, that's why they call it the Plus. It's a tracking system also immobilization. It's fully insurance approved, and so I think it's one of the best on the market. You'd have to drop us a message to ask us the question on how much it is. We are doing some offers at the moment. If you don't want to pay, because they are really expensive, but definitely worth it. If you don't want to go that extra mile with the tracking system, which I believe you should do, I'll come back to the tracking in a moment. The uh, the a smart tracker also have introduced something called the shadow. Now it's the immobilizer only method with the card, and it's a shadow edition. Now with the shadow. It does exactly the same with what I've just demonstrated you, minus the tracker. But here's a little key. If for any reason your car ever did get stolen, they could still locate your car. How mad's that? Information, you could drop us a message or talk to one of the, uh, the sales staff that will help you with that. From my understanding, from the installations and from Smart Track themselves, apparently you can still locate the car. And the only way of taking your car is going to be at the back of a higher. Now, for any reason, because as soon as that car moves, from the point of location, because it's all satellite linked, right, as soon as it moves, even door open, any single thing that they believe that the car's been started or trying to be started or whatever, when your battery's low, they call me generally, when my battery's going low in the car, they will give you a call. So I definitely suggest to go for the S5 iMod Plus. They do have different other variations, the S5, S7s, but honestly, the S5 iMod Plus, as demonstrated, I believe is one of the best ones on the market in comparison to also the Ghost. I do a mobilize in my car because I don't want to take any risks with it no more, you know, joking aside, because I don't want to take anybody to take my pride and joy ever again. And the only way you're going to take it is pick it up or start stripping it out of my house. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope this was a useful video for you. Like, share and subscribe to our, all our Instagram and our YouTube. Uh, look on our website just underneath here and check out us on all social media platforms. I hope it was, like I said, a useful video for you. Any more questions, drop us a message or pick up the call. Pick up the phone and give us a call. I'll see you on the next video. See you later.